In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, quickly integrate Facebook with your own website uh, using uh, Facebook's Connect API. Uh, it's a really easy thing to get started with, but you know, if you spend time at it, you can really make some interesting uh, social interactions happen. However, to get started, all you need to uh, do is just use a little bit of JavaScript and you can start uh, pushing content from your site to users' profiles. Uh, in this first part, I'm going to show how to actually get started by uh, setting up the uh, application settings uh, on Facebook's end. Uh, the first thing you need is, of course, a Facebook account, which uh, most people probably do at this point. Uh, once you're logged in, just go down to the bottom of the page and then click on the developers link. This will take you here to uh, the developers uh, landing page. Uh, it's developers.facebook.com. From here, you just need to click on start now. And then scroll down, click on go to the Facebook developer app. And you'll be presented with a uh, permission dialog to allow access for the developer applications. You must do this, otherwise you can't create your own application. And we now have approved the developer application. Uh, we see here we've got uh, the developer blogs uh, and some status updates uh, on various updates that uh, Facebook's doing to the developer platform. So it's a good thing to always come back and check this. From here, uh, what we're looking for is the Set Up New Application button. You just click on this. And we'll then have the Create Application uh, form. All you need to do is choose an application name. For this, I'm going to call mine Lumen Bright Test. Uh, then you should read the Facebook terms, and surely after you read through all that, you'll agree to it and then save changes. And now our application is created. This is the uh, settings page for our application. Um, as we see, we can change the application name once we've uh, created it, so we're not stuck with something that you regret. Uh, we see our application ID, and then right here is the API key. This is very important. Uh, we use this and on your own website so that Facebook knows where uh, all of these uh, requests are coming from. Uh, I'll sh we'll be coming back to this a bit later. Uh, we also have a secret key which you shouldn't give out ever because then someone else can start spoofing your own application and cause all sorts of mischief. Uh, I'm going to reset this of course after making this video but don't give this out to anyone else. Uh, there's some other stuff you can put here, like a description. If you have an icon and a logo, you can upload them here. Uh, but what we, all we really need to look at right now is the connect settings. So you see over here on the left, we can just click on connect. And here, we can then put in the URL of our uh, web page. Now I'm going to actually put here, in my case, I'll put Luminbright dot com. Uh, notice I've put the whole URL, you, in HTTP colon slash slash, etc. Uh, because down here in the base domain, we only specify just the uh, the root domain. So you just put Lumenbright. In my case, I'm putting Lumenbright dot com. Uh, this way, you, if you have a site that has a bunch of subdomains. Uh, you can always, you don't have to worry about any complex configuration, but as long as you just specify your root domain here. Okay, once we've done that, you can just go down here to save changes. And from here we see a little summary page, and we see our API key and um, various other settings. Alright, so right now we've done everything we need to do on the Facebook side. Uh, the next step is to start adding uh, a few important pieces uh, to our own website. From here, 
we can just click on back to developer home and then click on developer wiki this wiki has all the documentation for uh, the, all the Facebook API's and they have a ton of information here and it's really easy to get lost uh, for what we need if you follow along you won't get lost so just go ahead and click on Facebook connect and then go ahead and scroll down under technical overview click on setting up your site and this first step tells us we need to create a cross-domain communication channel file. Uh, this file has to exist uh, at the URL that we provided in the uh, connect application settings. Uh, this allows our application to talk to Facebook and for Facebook to talk to our site to help verify that uh, the users are proper Facebook users and that uh, all the communication uh, will work without you having to actually uh, do any hard work about uh, passing uh, assigned cookies and sessions around. This is very important. But it's, uh, all we need to do is just copy this little code sample of HTML. You notice it's really just a basic bare bones HTML file with a script. This is an important piece of the API that loads in a bunch of that communication stuff. So I've selected it, and I hit copy, and now I'm going to Dreamweaver. I've already created my uh, site definition, so I just need to go to File, New, choose an HTML file, hit Create, and I'll clear out the defaults here, and I will paste the code from the uh, wiki. Since that's all I need to do, I can go to save it. And the important thing here is that the file must be called xd underscore receiver dot htm uh, because that's what Facebook is going to be looking for when it talks to your own site. Okay, now that we've named it, I'm going to hit save. And from here, I will then upload it to my site, and there we go. Uh, and next thing we would need to do is actually create a page that will then use the API, and uh, that will be in the next video.